So in this chapter, we learn mostly about Le Partie du Corps, which is your body parts. So this is just vocabulary. So the first one is La Tête, which is the head. Les cheveux, hair. Les yeux, les yeux is eyes. Les oreilles, ears. Le nez, nose. La bouche, mouth. Les dents, teeth. La langue, tongue. Le cou, neck. Les épaules, shoulders. So, from this list, you would know la is for feminine objects, just like always. Le is for masculine. Le is for plural. L apostrophe, if it will come up. Uh, uh, subsequently, it is for vowels. Les bras is for arms. Les coudes is elbows. Les mains is hands. Les doigts is fingers. La poitrine is chest. Le dos is back. Le ventre is stomach. Les hanches. Is, is your rear area, hips. Les jambes is legs. Les genoux is knees. Les pieds is feet. Les orteils are toes. Les ongles are nails. La peau is skin. Le visage is face. Les joues are cheeks. Le menton, chin. Le front is forehead, the front part. Les sourcils is eyebrows. And les cils are eyelashes. Besides this, we can also talk about la maladie et de la santé. Maladie is any kind of sickness that you might have and santé is your general health. Première, pour Exprimer des symptoms, any kind of symptoms that you might have. J'ai mal à la tête, I have a headache. J'ai mal à la gorge, I have a sore throat or I have a pain in my throat. J'ai de la fièvre, I have a fever. J'ai mal au ventre, I have a stomachache. J'ai de la toux, I have a cough. J'ai le nez qui coule. I have a runny nose. J'ai des courbatures. I have body aches. So if you see, usually it is mal plus a and its forms. So forms means if the body part is masculine, it will become mal o. If the body part is feminine, it would become mal a la. Plural body parts. Mal, O. And body parts that begin with vowel, mal, A, L, apostrophe. So, mal, A, L. Avoir, mal, A, and then some body part. If you want to décrire des sensations, feelings. Je me sens fatigué. I feel, this is the verb son, which is sentir. How do you feel? Je me sens Fatigué. I feel tired. If you are a girl, put an extra E. Je me sens faible. I feel weak. Je me sens étourdi. I feel dizzy. Je me sens nauseux. Nauseuse. I feel nauseous. Je me sens fiavre. Fiavreuse. You can simply say, uh, j'ai de la fièvre. That is also fine. I feel feverish, fièvreux, fièvreuse. Demandez de l'aide médicale. Asking for medical help. Je dois aller chez le médecin. This is the verb, devoir. So, I should go or I need to go to the doctor. Chez le médecin. Je vais prendre un rendez-vous chez le médecin. 
I am going to take an appointment at the doctor's. Je dois aller à l'hôpital. I need to go to the hospital. J'ai besoin de médicaments. Médicament is medicines. J'ai besoin de. Avoir besoin de is a phrase which means to need something. Parler des traitements, treatments, medical treatment. Je prends des médicaments. I'm taking. The verb here is prendre. Le médecin m'a prescrit des antibiotiques. The doctor has prescribed me some antibiotics. Je dois me reposer. Verb. Je dois me reposer. I need to rest. Je dois boire beaucoup d'eau. I need to drink a lot of water. Je dois suivre un régime alimentaire spécial. I need to follow a special diet. And then you have some general expressions. Être en bonne santé. To be in good health. Je suis en bonne santé. I am in good health. Être en mauvaise santé. To be in bad health or poor health. So you can say tu es en mauvaise santé. Tu es en bonne santé. Prendre soin de uh, soi. Take care of oneself. You can similarly say prendre soin de toi. Take care of yourself. Prendre soin de moi. Taking care of myself. Prendre soin de nous. Ourselves. Like that. Se sentir mieux. Je me sens mieux. I feel better. Tu te sens mieux. You feel better. Se sentir plus mal. Feel worse. Je me sens plus mal. I feel worse than before. Then you have quelques règles générales. Some general rules. Les adjectifs et les verbes utilisés pour décrire les symptômes ou les sensations peuvent être suivis d'avoir ou d'être. So, it's basically saying that the verbs uh, which are going to talk about symptoms or sensation, how you feel, the verb sentir, it's actually se sentir, pronominal. They would always use avoir or être, depending on what verb it is. Par exemple, j'ai mal à la tête. So, avoir mal à. Ou, je suis fatigué. I am tired. Sensation. Pour décrire les parties du corps affectées, utilisez à, mal à la tête, ou du, mal du ventre. Utilisez le présent de l'indicatif pour décrire les symptômes actuels. Actuel means current or now. To talk about the symptoms which are happening right now, you use present tense. Et le passé composé pour parler de symptômes passés. For previous symptoms, you will use passé composé. It's, it's, it's a general thing. You do it in English as well. So, this is just the vocabulary part, just the vocabulary lesson for talking about your health.